Welcome to the Ben Wood Johnson Podcast. You can visit Dr. Johnson's blog at benwoodpost.com. Dr. Johnson's works can be found at drbenwoodjohnson.com. You can also support Dr. Johnson on Patreon, the link to which is in the description. Uh, welcome to the Ben Wood Johnson podcast. Uh, today is uh, May the 29th, 2018. This is our second installment. This is our second podcast. I am excited and I'm also happy that you're here. And if you're here, that means you sort of liked what you heard in the first podcast and you're here. So let's get to it. Um, today we're going to be talking about the purpose of technology. Uh, it is important because this is the foundation of uh, the discussions that I'm having about the purpose of technology, why technology is important. Um, so, yeah, you have to pay attention to this uh, to this installment. It is relatively short, but it sort of sets the stage because here I talk about how nature uh, is important, why nature sort of guide the being in terms of why the being is here and how the being is supposed to find his way uh, in the natural, uh, in the wilderness, if you will. So I sort of lay out the importance of being in nature and why nature provides you with the tools, uh, the techniques and the know-how or the savoir-faire uh, to be part of nature. So without further ado, let's get to it. But technology has evolved over time. As I said, every generation has discovered a way to make technologies better. But the, the purpose of technology is not make your life more comfortable because comfort is not subsistence there's a difference between subsist and subsist comfortably there are certain basic things that nature requires for the subsistence to exist eat sleep procreation these are important elements for subsistence but everything else is not so important in nature. So technologies are supposed to be there to make subsistence easy, or at least easier, not comfortable. Because comfort is not part of nature. Comfort, as we have come to understand it, is not part of it. It's not what nature is about. We're not supposed to subsist just because we want to subsist. We have to subsist because nature wants us to be here. We have a purpose in nature and the purpose is to carry out the existence of nature in itself because nature in itself is a being. Nature in itself is a being because nature is this being that is right there that has the same um, characteristics of being which is nature exists within the context of time and location because we know where nature is and you know we know when nature is so nature in itself is a being so in order for nature to exist nature has to subsist and in order for nature to subsist its element has to subsist so it has to create a way for its element to be here still and that's what we're here we're here to carry out to make sure that nature exists we're not here to make sure that we exist we exist because nature must exist now why nature must exist this is the ultimate question that i'm not sure how to answer because i don't know anything beyond nature but what i do know is that there can be no nature if nature does not preserve its element its entities 
So we are part of nature, not because we are in ourselves different from nature. It, it is because we are supposed to be part of the whole, the whole nature. We're supposed to contribute to nature. Now, well, of course, we are not that important in the scale of nature because within the context of nature, what we do is not that important. There are far more things in nature that do more than we do. But we are part of nature and we are not supposed to be just because we want to be. And we cannot be because we want to be. So many generations and civilizations have passed. I'm sure they thought they would stay forever. I'm sure they thought their existence was incumbent upon who they were. Like there was a certain selectivity in who they were. Nature chose them or as it is always said, God blessed them. There's no such thing in nature. Nobody's blessed in nature. Nature does not discriminate. Nature does not look on skin color. Nature does not look on what you're worth. Because nature needs everyone for it to exist. So within that context, when we speak of technology, what must be understood is that technology is supposed to help entities within nature carry out its mission in nature and the mission of every human being in nature is to be in nature is to be in nature and be within your nature in nature your mission in nature is not to be because you want to be your mission in nature is to be because you have to be part of nature and being part of nature makes nature what nature is because you are an important element in nature. And the minute this generation of man is gone, another will replace it. Because human being is not as important as he thinks he is in nature. Nature does not discriminate. Nature does not have preferences. That's why nature does not bless any nation, any person, any country, anybody. Any